What's poppin' ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to the best Madden 19 channel on YouTube.com. If you want a free Madden 20 ebook as soon as it is released, follow the link in the description, get the top 50 to 100 weekend league package, or become a Patreon member. If you need help on defense, stopping all the glitchy crossing routes if you need help on offense money plays to beat cover two cover three and man coverage i got you you are at the right place let's go what's up ladies and gentlemen welcome to another madden video today we will be going over madden nfl 20 top five fixes that need to be implemented into the game at launch not something that they start fixing with patches later on in the year this is something that we need as soon as the game is released the number one thing that we need is o-line blocking and fullback blocking so if you play madden 19 you know that from the beginning of the year you were seeing fullbacks offensive linemen and wide receivers standing around letting people come in free so they need to implement that into the game to have better awareness and better blocking overall. They need to completely overhaul blocking because without blocking, the offense cannot work like it's supposed to. Now, if you've been watching anything from the Madden 20 streams or any kind of news that they have been revealing, you can see that they revamped the offense. They made the offense with the RPOs, which is run pass option, giving you more weapons on the offensive side of the ball. Now, we would need for them to balance that for the defensive side of the ball so it's not overpowered. So, number two that we need to get into is user depth. Now, when I say user depth, as you can see on the gameplay video right now, my user is able to cover two routes, which is a drag, a slant, and then have enough time to drop all the way down the field 15 to 20 yards for a post. Now, people in Madden 19 will cry out and say, that's user, that's skill. Are you done? Are, are you done? Yeah, can I, are you done? Are you done? Okay, okay. You know, it takes no skill to be able to do unrealistic things in the football game over the past three to four years. They need to tone that down a lot. No linebacker should be able to either watch a drag and jump back to a post that's more than 10 yards down the field. It's unrealistic. And another thing that they need to do is implement fatigue and penalties across all modes. The fatigue system needs to be overhauled and penalties need to be in the game. It's the only football game that we have on the market, so they need to implement user depth. They shouldn't be able to have unrealistic user depth on the field. If my user is at, let's say, the five yard line, I shouldn't be able to cover for two seconds around the six to seven yard line and then still be able to go and cover all the way to the 25 and 30 yard line behind me. That's too much green fatigue the person in real life will have to come off the field for two or three plays if he's running at the line of scrimmage and then all the way down to sideline to sideline especially a 215 220 230 pound linebacker so number three wide receiver db interactions it's a lot of time you will see your cornerback just let a ball sail over his head without him attempting to jump up put a finger on it just tip the ball bobble the ball also it's a lot of times that you will see your cornerbacks just get pancaked on the outside against a wide receiver who might only have 40 or 50 blocking rating you need to make it more realistic and this year they said the stars will feel like stars but that's something that can be overpowered in the game so it has to be a balance i want to see my richard sherman who is not the fastest person in the nfl be able to lock down 80 percent of the wide receivers and man-to-man -man coverage he's very aggressive him jalen ramsey Players like that are very aggressive. They uh, get in their opponent's head and they just are very competitive. So they're going to always be aggressive. They're going to be fighting to get off blocks. They're going to be uh, fighting the wide receiver that first five to six yards off the line of scrimmage every single time. And they need to implement that into the game. Now, the next thing we need is a skill gap. When I say skill gap, I mean people that find something on YouTube. Let's say the bunch... PA sale or something like that 
If they find the play on YouTube, they need to implement it that the defense ratings actually come into effect. So if you have through two corner routes, you know what's coming. You need something on the defensive side of the ball to be able to make your AI react to that. So if I know that a corner route is coming, it's a fourth and 14. We don't want one of these lucky bailout plays. So we're going to highlight that receiver or we're going to call out a corner route. It needs to be something that they can implement into the game to make that happen. Or you can set one DB on a wide receiver all game. You should be able to have Richard Sherman follow this guy no matter where he lines up across the field last but not least we need more realistic animations in the game right now the spin moves that's making two to three people fall down is unrealistic quarterbacks dropping eight to ten yards back in the pocket running from sideline to sideline waiting for wide receivers to reroute after they have already went 25 yards down the field is unrealistic especially if them guys don't have to take a break for two to three plays so animations need to be toned down and then the other four keys that i said earlier needs to be taken advantage of whatever you want to see fixed in this upcoming madden 20 let me know in the comment section right now and i will add that into the next video let's get it